Hey guys, I'm back with another Nespresso coffee review using my Nespresso Breville Creatista Plus machine. If you haven't checked out that review already, I'll provide a link. Uh, be sure to check out my reviews. I have several videos on the machine, fantastic machine all around. Uh, so definitely be sure to check that out. So while cruising around on Facebook, I came across this brand and this R, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not, uh, stands for Rosa Roso Cafe. Roso Cafe is Nespresso compatible capsules, or they offer Nespresso compatible capsules. Um, and this is my first time, I haven't even really looked in the book yet. So they're mimicking the Nespresso Grand Crew marketing literature. Um, and they've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's about 16 variations here. Now on Facebook, they actually had a link. I've gone back and tried to find it. I'm going to dig around a little bit more in my browser history and see if I can find it and if it's still valid. But on Facebook, they had a sample pack for $2. All you had to pay was shipping. Uh, $2 shipping and you would receive 20 capsules predetermined and so I went ahead and ordered that and one of their um, sample packs is an extra dark roast make sure we're in focus extra dark roast called Diamante cool little diamond there 10 capsules Nespresso compatible it's a 13 intensity, so let's take a look here at their little brochure. Um, I think 13 is their most intense. Make sure you guys can try to see that. So up here, Diamante, powerful and rich, extra dark roast, intensity 13. Uh, and it looks like that's a premium blend. And then... Um, they have a little key here. I don't know what they mean because there's no guide to what these icons are. So I'm going to assume you have a uh, probably a uh, ristretto, an espresso, and if you can see that one that's darkened, it's probably a, a lungo. Um, yeah. So as you go through some of these, you can see where that lungo is actually. highlighted but then they also add a fourth one so I wonder if that's milk that looks like it's milk interesting so they don't tell you that Diamante or any of these here are actually good with milk I'm gonna assume so it's extra dark roast again if you've watched any of my videos before you'll know that I come from a Starbucks roast espresso dark roast um, background that I used on my Breville Oracle and Breville dual boiler so I'm good with dark roast. So I'm excited that we have their strongest 13 uh, extra dark roast as well in their sample pack. They included a uh, Maestro 10 capsules dark roast and this is a 9 out of 13. Um, oh here's our guide right here on the box. So we've got a nine intensity. It tells us this is good for ristretto between 25 milliliters and 0.85 ounces, which is perfect because the Nespresso machines uh, pull closer to uh, a 0 0.85, 0 0.9 for a ristretto shot. Then an espresso is 40 mil or 1.35 ounces, which is what the Nespresso machine pulls. Then they have a Lungo, which pulls 3.75 ounces. And a, oh, that, so I don't know if you guys can see, um, that is a milk-based drink, and that's indicating cappuccino, and that is a six-ounce drink. So um, this is not uh, meant to be brewed for a lungo or necessarily cappuccino. Um, you could still use the espresso shots for a milk-based drink, which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and another reason why I liked the sample pack that included a 9 and a uh, 13 intensity. Those are great with milk. Um, so on this one, the Maestro... We've got a blend of 100% Arabica beans um, from Tanzania and Costa Rica, slowly roasted at low temperatures. Maestro is characterized by distinct cocoa and hazelnut aromas. 
uh, retaining the unique flavors of the beans, leaving your mouth with a smooth, pleasant taste, which feels like a symphony dancing on the palate. All right. So no cereal notes in here. Nespresso always likes to throw in cereal, which I've never really understood. It's like all of the Nespresso capsules seem to have cereal somewhere in the description. Um, and that's just not attractive to me. Uh, I always like to see cocoa. Um, cocoa flavors, um, fruity flavors uh, tend to, for me, uh, balance well with milk. That cocoa definitely tends to stand out um, with milk. So excited to try that. Let's go back to the Diamante and take a look at the description. Um, Diamante is a prestigious blend of selected high quality Arabic beans from plantations across the finest coffee regions in Costa Rica. The beans are extra dark roasted for an especially bold, rich and aromatic coffee with a profound flavorful aftertaste. Diamante is a rare gem, perfect for those who enjoy strong premium coffee. All right, so what I didn't like is that this doesn't tell me any of the tasting notes. It's especially bold, rich, and aromatic. Okay, and a flavorful aftertaste. So if you guys check out Rozo Cafe's website, you're gonna find some of the descriptions are lacking. So if you're trying to figure out, you know, what they taste like, it's not necessarily gonna give that to you. The Maestro, um, mentions cocoa, but then Diamante doesn't say anything. Um, where at least Nespresso always has tasting notes. Uh, and the pamphlet here uh, does the same thing. It just says if it's powerful, rich, super intense, um, that's about it. And if it's a premium blend, which I don't know uh, what constitutes for them a premium blend. So, with that said, let's tear into one of these boxes. Um, I should probably start with Maestro first, and then I'm going to try uh, a Diamante and see how that tastes. Um, so these boxes are wider than your Nespresso. If you haven't uh, seen already, I just did a review on the um, Vintage 2014 uh, Limited Edition by Nespresso Capsules. So in comparison, uh, Nespresso's capsule box is longer and it's definitely skinnier all around. They're about the same thickness. So let's see what's inside. How oh, they package this. Okay, that's interesting. So not as neat as the Nespresso. They've just kind of thrown them in a bag. They've thrown them in two bags. And they look to be they're plastic capsules with a foil top. And there's two. And I've seen comments on their um, Facebook page about a recycling program. Folks asking, like Nespresso, do they have recycling programs? Uh, no, they don't. Um, it's something I think they're looking into. These capsules, if I'm not mistaken, run around 59 cents, I think it is. It was between 55 and 59 cents. Um, whereas your typical Nespresso capsule is closer to, again, don't quote me, but I think it's closer to what, 79, 80 cents? I could be off a little bit, but. Um, so these are definitely less expensive. Uh, we'll see if the, the flavor suffers any as a result. Um, all right, so a foil, foil top, plastic container. Let's compare that to one of the new uh, vintage 2014 capsules that I just got that looks like a little cork. Whoops. Looks like they are both about the same diameter around. Pretty much the same shape overall. About the same height, yeah. Fairly, fairly close, same shape. All right, so they've done a good job uh, mimicking an espresso. Um, this Maestro can be brewed as a ristretto or an espresso. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this um, as an espresso shot. It's a nine intensity. And I'm gonna turn my Breville Creatista Plus machine on. It takes just a second. And I always like to heat up my cup first um, by brewing um, a shot without a capsule inside. And I've been asked before if the Creatista Plus will dispense hot water. Yes, it will. Just simply brew either a Ristretto, Lungo, or Espresso without a capsule. So I have a capsule in here. I'm going to go ahead and dispense it or trash it. Close the lever and press my start. Three second heat up. And this also helps remove any existing coffee from the previous capsule that was in the machine. So it cleans it out. And we have our water. 
and you can see where it did clean out some of the uh, pre-existing coffee from the last capsule. Now that my cup is warmed, I'm going to dump that, put our Rosso Cafe Maestro. And it just dawned on me, there's no name on here. Let's see, the vintage from Nespresso, I keep dropping these has the uh, 2014 vintage. Um, now I can't recall if all of the capsules actually have names or not. Yeah, they do. So here's a new Roma that I just got. And the Roma for Nespresso actually has um, Roma on the foil. So the Rosso Cafe do not, they just have ours. So that would be nice if they actually had a name on this. Otherwise you're gonna have to reference, keep them in the package or reference their little uh, brochure. All right, so enough of that, let's put that in. It goes in the same, it operated the same, nothing got stuck, that's good, and let's brew it. Well, there's a little water dripping in here. We can go ahead and dump that in our drip tray. I'm making a mess, pull our shelf back out and brew. All right. Pretty crema on top, if you can see that. Very pretty. Let me give it the nose test. Definitely is a lighter smell. Now this is a nine intensity, and the only description they say is that it's characterized by distinct cocoa and hazelnut. All right, let's see if I can smell cocoa or hazelnut. Mm, not, not really. I don't know how people come up with all of these scents because half the time I can't smell what the description says. So I think maybe I'm just, uh, my nose is off a little bit. First impression you have just a real quick little hint of acid. Not, not nearly as acidic as if you check out my limited edition 2014 Nespresso. A little more balanced. Fairly well balanced. Um, nothing's really jumping out. It's not bad. Again, that is a nine intensity out of 13. Pretty good balance. I'm not getting cocoa or hazelnut. And it might be Again, temperature, if the temperature um, cools off a little bit, some of those flavors may come out a bit more, or if it's mixed with milk. Overall, it's a very well-balanced coffee. Um, I would recommend it. I'll be curious to see what it tastes like with milk. It is balanced. I do like that. I think that would work well um, as a, uh, a milk-based uh, drink and possibly I might brew that as a ristretto uh, pull a couple of ristretto shots into some milk if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up in the comments uh, thumbs up like subscribe and again this was an initial uh, review of the Rosso Cafe Maestro dark roast Nespresso compatible capsule see you soon Oh, 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 oh,